close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Where do you feel it in the body, the process of breathing? Focus your attention there, and then ask yourself if long breathing is comfortable. If it feels energizing, feels good, then keep it up. If it feels tiresome, you can change. Shorter breathing, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to give your full attention to what you're doing right now here with the breath. We come here to train the mind. We focus on the breath because it's hard to focus on the mind directly. But the breath is close to the mind. It's like a mirror for the mind. When moods come up in the mind, there'll be a catch in the breath and you start breathing in different ways that can often aggravate the mood. And yet we look past that because we're more interested in things outside. So try to get interested in the breath. If you really want to see the mind, focus on the breath. Polish this mirror so that you can see clearly what's going on. In other words, breathe in a way that feels good, that feels soothing throughout the body, that flows smoothly throughout the body. And keep watch. Because all too often qualities like greed, aversion, delusion, desire, jealousy, they start out very small, but we're not aware of them while they're small. We're aware of them only when they take over. It's like the story in the canon about a seed for a vine. The seed lands next to a tree, and the day when the tree is a little bit discouraged. But the other devas come and they say, well, that, don't worry, it's just a little tiny seed. Maybe a peacock will come and eat it up. Maybe it'll be dry and won't, won't grow. Maybe it, even, maybe it isn't even a seed. So the day when the first tree gets complacent, sure enough, it is a seed. Peacocks don't eat it. It gets plenty of water and starts growing and growing and growing. And at first it seems tender, but then it grows and grows and grows and finally creates a canopy over the tree, kills the tree. And this is what happens with a lot of emotions that can take root in the mind. They start out very small, but then they grow. And if you're not careful, they can take over. They can kill the goodness of your mind. So as the Buddha said, it's the heedful people who don't die. In other words, their goodness doesn't die. When you're heedless, your goodness dies every day. Things come in and take over. And they're not the ones that are going to reap the results of following them. They disappear. They're like people who come and get you to break the law. And then when the police come, they go running away. So you've got to realize that for the sake of your own goodness, you've got to keep careful watch over the mind. Because it does have these potentials. But fortunately, it also has good potentials. Your desire for happiness at last, your desire for happiness that's harmless. Your mindfulness, your alertness, these qualities may be weak in the beginning, but as you strengthen them through the practice, they take over. And then when the little seeds come, they see them right away, and they exterminate them so they don't grow. So try to give your full attention right here as much as you can, especially while you're meditating. But try to keep in touch with the breath as you go through the day. Learn how to detect the signs that something's wrong in the breathing. So you can stop and ask yourself, okay, what just happened in the mind? What do I have to watch out for? Because the mind has many levels. Sometimes you're operating on one level and somebody three or stories, four stories down is making another decision. It's like a corporation where the chairman of the corporation is not all that alert to what's going on. Mindfulness is what makes you alert to every floor in the building, all the decisions that are being made. And that way you can make sure that the decisions are good for you. They come from a good place in the mind and they go to take you to a good place as well. So keep watch over your mind. Watch out for the little seeds. Tend to the seeds for the good qualities in the mind. Make sure they grow. As for seeds that are not good, while well, you you can step on them. It's one thing that you can kill and the Buddha doesn't say is bad. And that way you stay in charge. 
unskillful emotions don't take over the mind, and the goodness of your mind doesn't die. 